of DNA sequences between different DNA molecules. Conservative site-specific recombination, or CSSR, is recombination between two defined sequence elements called site-specific recombination sites. There are two families of proteins responsible for site-specific recombination, the serine recombinases and the tyrosine recombinases. When you have completed this exercise, you should understand the mechanism of site-specific recombination by the serine recombinases. Understand the mechanism of site-specific recombination by the tyrosine recombinases. And understand the possible outcomes of conservative site-specific recombination. For the serine recombinases, the side chain of a serine residue within the active site attacks a specific phosphodiester bond in the recombination site. This reaction introduces a single-stranded break in the DNA and simultaneously generates a covalent linkage between the serine and a phosphate at the cleavage site of the DNA. Site-specific recombination always occurs between two recombination sites. Therefore, during recombination, four single strands of DNA, two from each recombination site, must be cleaved and rejoined. The serine recombinases cleave all four strands prior to strand exchange, with one recombinase protein molecule acting on each strand. The covalent protein DNA intermediate conserves the energy of the cleaved phosphodiester bond. As a result, the DNA strands can be rejoined simply by reversing the cleavage reaction. Site-specific recombination is called conservative because every DNA bond that is broken during the cleavage reaction is resealed by the recombinase without any input of external energy. The mechanism of action of the tyrosine recombinases is very similar to that of the serine recombinases, except a tyrosine side chain is involved in the cleavage reaction, rather than a serine side chain. Also, in contrast to the serine recombinases, the tyrosine recombinases cleave and rejoin two DNA strands first, generating a holiday junction. The other two tyrosine recombinases then cleave and rejoin the other two DNA strands, resolving the holiday junction. Each recombination site is organized as a pair of recombinase recognition sites, positioned symmetrically. These sequences flank a central short asymmetric sequence where cleavage and rejoining occur, called the crossover region. If the recombination sites are on different circular DNA molecules, the result of site-specific recombination is insertion of one of the molecules into the other. Because the crossover region is asymmetric, a given recombination site always has a defined polarity. If both recombination sites are on the same DNA molecule, they can be a direct repeat with respect to one another or inverted with respect to one another. Recombination between a pair of recombination sites organized as direct repeats will result in deletion of the DNA segment between the two sites. In contrast, recombination between a pair of inverted recombination sites will invert the DNA segment. Mice are often used for studying human diseases, such as cancer. It is often useful to be able to knock out a specific gene within the mouse genome to study the effects of that gene in the development of a given disease. You have identified a gene found in the genomes of both humans and mice. You believe that the protein product of this gene helps to prevent cancer in both mice and humans. How can you study the effects of this gene? Site-specific recombination is a useful tool for such studies. CRE recombinase is a well-characterized tyrosine recombinase. 
CRE recombinases cleave at recombinase sites called LOX sites. Question 1. Which of these experimental techniques could be used to flank the target gene in the genome of a mouse embryonic stem cell with inserted LOX recombination sites? Question 2. You wish to delete the target gene. Where should the LOX sites be inserted? Be sure to set the orientation of the LOX sites. Once the LOX sites and Cree recombinase gene have been inserted into the mouse genome, all of the mice die early in development before specific tissues have developed. Question 3. Which of the following best explains this result? Question 4. Which of the following experiments should be used as controls? While the mice all die early in development as a result of the gene knockout, tests show that the mice do not develop cancer. Apparently, the target gene is important for early development. Question 5. Which of the following tools could be used to determine if knockout of the target gene later in the mouse's life leads to cancer? Question 6. What can be determined based on these experiments? Conservative site-specific recombination is recombination between two defined sequence elements called site-specific recombination sites. There are two families of proteins responsible for site-specific recombination, the serine recombinases and the tyrosine recombinases. For the serine recombinases, the side chain of a serine residue within the active site attacks a specific phosphodiester bond in the recombination site. The serine recombinases cleave all four strands prior to strand exchange, with one recombinase protein molecule acting on each strand. The DNA strands can be rejoined simply by reversing the cleavage reaction. Tyrosine recombinases use a very similar mechanism to that of serine recombinases, except a tyrosine side chain is involved in the cleavage reaction, rather than a serine side chain. The tyrosine recombinases cleave and rejoin two DNA strands first, generating a holiday junction. The other two tyrosine recombinases then cleave and rejoin the other two DNA strands, resolving the holiday junction. If the recombination sites are on different circular DNA molecules, the result of site-specific recombination is insertion of one of the molecules into the other. If both recombination sites are on the same DNA molecule, they can be a direct repeat with respect to one another or inverted with respect to one another. Recombination between a pair of direct repeats will result in deletion of the DNA segment between the two sites. In contrast, recombination between a pair of inverted recombination sites will invert the DNA segment. You have completed this exercise.